Hey guys, Danish Kasamali back for another video and today we're gonna make some sublimation boxers. Yep, boxers. These are men's boxers. They also come in youth. We've got two sizes in youth and small through triple XL for men's. So I'm gonna show you guys how to sublimate these coming up. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so these are the Silky Socks official boxers for sublimation. They have a polyester spandex exterior all the way throughout, very stretchy, very smooth and silky indeed. They also feature a cotton interior crotch area for comfortability. Yes, I thought of that feature. I was looking out for you, for you guys, fellas, to be comfortable. And this waistband is also sublimatable, so you can literally sublimate the whole thing. And we engineered it to have it as flat and smooth as possible, so you get as minimal dead spots as possible. All right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down on my heat press. I've got some craft paper here, just some standard and uh, regular craft paper that I'll be using. And I'm gonna lay this down and give it a quick pre-press. Then we'll give it about five seconds just to flatten it out nice and smooth. All right. Now I will try to get some of these creases out. You'll have a few right here underneath the waistband. And you'll have a few right here by the crotch area. And then it is ready to go. So the heat press I'm using is by Heat Press Nation. It's a 16 by 24. I recommend a 16 by 24 size because the boxers, by the time you get to the width and the height, you're gonna need about that size for pretty much all the sizes. Uh, if you have a smaller press, you'll wanna press it in sections. So in this video, I'm gonna do one where I sublimate the entire thing in one press, front and back. Then I'm gonna use another sheet of paper that's, that, that covers about half of this, and I could use a 13 by 19 uh, sheet of paper to do that and cover this half, all right? So you'll see that right here coming up. First thing I'll do is grab my transfer sheet that covers the entire thing. So again, this is gonna be about a 16 by 22 sheet of transfer paper and I sublimated it on our wide format printer. So if you have a 24 inch wide format printer, you can print one of these no problem. Then you just need to make sure you have a nice big 16 by 24 heat press to cover the whole thing in one shot, all right? And we have templates on our website that list, uh, that show the size and on the blank section as well, the width and height of each size is listed. So you can check that out. This is a size large boxer. So now that I pre-pressed it, I'm just gonna lay this over the entire thing and just make sure all four sides are covered. Top, bottom, left and right. And I've got my heat press set at 400 degrees and 45 seconds and let's give it a whirl. I've also cranked up the pressure really high. So I've got it on high pressure. And again, I'm, I'm going with 400 degrees, 45 seconds. We'll see how that comes out. Uh, normally our socks, we do about 35 seconds, but I've added 10 more seconds just to make sure that, that it transfers over nicely because it is a nice big garment. And uh, it does require high pressure, so I crank the pressure up a little bit just because it's get it nice and flat, all right? Three, two, one. All right, I'll give it a quick second to cool, then I'll peel it away. All right, let's see how that came out. Ooh oh my goodness, guys. I hope the camera picks that up, because that is fire. It says eat, sleep, play football. It's got a football field over the entire thing. And man, that came out clean. As you saw, all I did was one pre-press, no jig, no uh, additional kind of 
uh, ironing or stretching really, just kind of flatten it out with my hands. And wow, I love it. Okay, next, uh, what I want to probably do is get a fresh sheet of craft paper. So I'll go ahead and pass this. And I got a fresh sheet here. I'll lay down the other side. So that was the front, now I'll do the back. And I notice a little bit of crease here. So now I could pre-press this and try and just flat straighten these out or I could just go for it. I think I'll give it another quick pre-press. So five seconds here. Boom. Straighten that up a little bit. Alright, and really what you want to do is on your website, when you're selling these, you want to have a disclaimer saying that slight imperfections or dead spots where the print cannot reach is part of the process, and each piece is a custom one of one, because it really is, as you guys are customized sublimating these, just realize that don't kill yourself over like a tiny little crease, do your best to get it out, maybe spend uh, 30 seconds, you know, flattening and straightening it out and then go for it. Don't, don't, don't try to be a perfectionist and, 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 and spend like 10 minutes and, and bang your head on the wall. Because realistically, like in our industry, these products are made to be as flat and smooth as possible. And if you see like some of the wrinkles on the all over shirts, you'll see what I'm talking about. So like, you know, just keep it moving, stay on offense, believe in yourself and make the best product you can and have that little description to protect yourself and and keep moving so we've sold a ton of socks in the life of our business shirts and we have that disclaimer on those and sometimes they do have little imperfections but rarely does one complain all right let's get it so second side ready to go just making sure the everything is covered left, right, top, and bottom, and we'll give it a whirl, bam, all right, and I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video in our uh, Facebook group, Sublimation with Silky Socks, people have been asking about it, uh, speaking of that, if you're not a member, do join, it's an awesome group with uh, almost 12,000 members now, and people are asking questions, engaging, posting their awesome creations on these underwears and I'm in there every day as well posting uh, what, what I'm doing and behind the scenes what the company's doing so uh, it's a pretty good vibe in there definitely check that out and do subscribe to this channel because we're bringing you guys knowledge and information and how-to videos for sublimation all the time all right Ooh, smoking all right, let's see how that came out. Ooh-wee. 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 That is beautiful. Look at that. The football field turf all over. All right, and then... Just one tiny little spot right there, but like I said, the disclaimer will take care of that. And then, um, as soon as it cools down, I'm gonna lift it up and show you guys, all right? All right, there is the final result. As you can see, all over sublimated boxer on the waistband. Very cool. This is one of my personals. So this is gonna go to my boxer drawer right after this video. Is that too much information? Probably. But, um, yeah, so I wanna know what you guys think. If you've tried these on, how comfortable they are. For me, I love them. If you're wondering what size you should order, they fit pretty true to size. If you're kinda on the fence, you can go one size bigger. Uh, like for me, I'm uh, wearing a large, and then sometimes when I wear extra large, uh, it's super comfortable as well because it's just a little bit, uh, you know, more relaxed fit, you could say. So these are like a compression kind of feel. 
and uh, they have that spandex polyester blend so it is like a premium underwear one that you'd compare to one of those you see in the retail shops for twenty to twenty five dollars and that's non-custom so if you're customizing these I think you can easily charge thirty uh, thirty five or anywhere in the twenty five to thirty five range all day long alright beautiful so next let me change this craft paper again All right, I'm grabbing a fresh blank. Ooh, so nice. So white and clean. Love it. Each one also comes with a bag, so when you're done sublimating, you can bag it up uh, and kind of present it to your retail customer, whether you're shipping it or, or hanging it somewhere. It's a nice look with the bag. Okay, so another quick uh, pre-press to this one. Okay, just five seconds there. I'll try to straighten that out, straighten up some of these creases here. Okay, so now what I've got here are two sheets that are sized uh, about, I think it's about 12 by 17. The idea was if you have a 13 by 19 printer, you can print two sheets of this size and then connect them together and then uh, get them going like that. So what I'll do now is I'll try to connect these uh, Onto the, onto the, to the kind of, to the underwear without without a break in the pattern. But it's got some words right here. It says rise and grind right in the middle. So that's going to be my most challenging part is to connect those. So I'll see what I could do. But uh, what I was going to say is if you didn't have words connecting that cut off, if you just had like a little pattern and maybe words on the side, then you'll be good to go. And then. An optional thing you can use is adhesive spray where you can spray it down here and then kind of stick it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that and just try to eyeball connect them and see, uh, see how it comes out. All right, so checking the left, right. Top and bottom, and mainly this connection right here. Kind of scary, let's see. Let's go with it. So, like I said, I recommend if you're connecting them, just make sure you don't have writing right in that middle area. So if you had like a pattern, you could easily just kind of slightly overlap them and that should be good. But again, no jig, no insert guys, just laying it flat on my heat press and doing uh, straightening them out and then going with it. So again, if you have a 16 by 20 heat press, I'm thinking you can do like the left half um, first and then the right half right after that. So you can let that one piece like hang off and then shift it over and bring it over and do that second piece. With your 13 by 19 paper, you'll need two sheets like I did here for each side. Okay, let that cool for a second and let's see them. Damn. Pretty nice, but I do have a line uh, on the, in the middle right there. So I was probably a little too conservative with the paper. So I have like a, a white line right in the middle. So what I want to do next is just overlap them. So I'll try that on the back side where I just overlap them. But other than that line in the middle, the, the edges and the, the waistband and everything else looks great. So yeah. Uh, another thing I could do is use a fabric pen and kind of color that in, but uh, you know I don't want to do that right now because it's a lot of coloring with all these colors. So we'll see how the back side comes out. All right, so I've got the back on here. Now I'll give this a quick pre-press as well. And 
I'll try to straighten these out. Okay, so same thing on the back side. This time I'm just going to try to connect them a little better so we don't get that line. Okay, so what I've done is a slight overlap where I've got this paper on the bottom and then this left paper slightly overlaps that paper. I think that will do the trick. Let's give it a try. Bam. In about 45 seconds, we will find out. So I hope your guys' business has been growing uh, this year, even amidst uh, COVID, the demand for you know sublimated face masks, sublimated items uh, that people can order from your websites like socks and now boxers and, and probably anything else you're sublimating that's creative, fun, and unique, uh, you've been getting orders for. So uh, I know we have and even amongst this year, amidst this year, it's been a super growth year for us and I hope it has been for you too. Just keep making, keep posting, and keep uh, pushing your brand and your product and definitely get a website, a web store for yourself because the internet shopping is the present and the future. It's not going anywhere. SilkySocks.com reflects that with all our efforts uh, through online uh, selling and shipping and creating videos like these where you guys can all see us in action. All right? so. Here is my final result. Let's go ahead and see how that came out. Ooh, I think it's gonna be good. Ooh, 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 that is clean. So yeah, slight overlap did the trick there. No white line. Instead, I've got a little bit of a pink line, you could say. Ooh, that is hot. Ooh. Ah, picked that up too early. All right, there it is, guys, the final result. That's the back, a lot better looking. That's the front with the line there. And here are my two fresh pair of boxers, fresh pair of undies, ready to bless my booty. Are you ready to bless your booty? So you can get these blanks on silkysocks.com in the blank section. Next up, I'm gonna show you three things on our website and mobile app that you can use uh, including templates, uh, creating your own mock-up, and your own print file. So a little bonus clip coming up, follow me. Alright, so now I'm on the Silky Socks website and what you can do is come over to Wholesale and click Templates. There you'll see the all of our templates including the ones for boxers in a folder there. Then I can come over here and click Design Lab. Once you come to the Design Lab, this is like our online designer where customers can come and create their own items and order them at retail prices. But what's cool for you is you can come over here and hit Design Now. You could then make your own mock-up by adding an image here, cover the entire boxer, and then you'd hit preview, and boom, it would create you a mock-up right there. And then you just hit download and it'll download it for you. Then the other really cool way to do this is come on to our mobile app, Silky Socks, the app, free to download. Then you scroll over to the boxers and you have the boxers there. You hit image, and you can go image from library or even take a picture, right? Then you choose your photo. So I've got a couple selfies of me right here. So let's say I go use. Boom. Then I can basically have the image here and place it how I want it. And that serves as my mock-up. And check it out. I can even hit the download button right here. And it says saved design file to photos. So now there's my mock-up and check this out. There is my print file. It actually crops it for you in the size of a print file or in the same proportional size for the print file. Then you can, what you could do is airdrop this or email this to yourself 
and boom, you have it ready to send to your sublimation printer and you are making boxers. All right guys, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video and the tutorial and the little tips and tricks. Now go to silkysocks.com, get your blanks, go to the app or design lab, design what you need, and let's make it happen. Bless your booty, bless your business, and bless your feet, of course, and I'll catch you at the next video. Peace.